Hey, this is Chris from Pixel Wix, and we're looking at Pixel Warp 2.0 geometric correction and edge blending software. Now, obviously, you can do it for curved screens as I've got here, but of course, it works just as well if you're using um, flat screens and you just want to do edge blending. It does handle up to three uh, projected outputs um, for one server, which is kind of un un unique. It does have its own inbuilt in player, which plays HD files and uh, splits them up into the various portions for each projector. Um, we're using a triple head to go output uh, unit here so we can save on graphic cards and just to show we are displaying um, more than one projector we'll actually switch one off and I'll go to switch number two and switch that off. We have full control of um, shaping the uh, image to the screen by control points. Um, I'll just take off uh, screen two and we'll leave um, this one on. We can put the grid points up of uh, whichever one we wish to manipulate which you can see there those little points and I can grab hold of those and uh, manipulate them. That's if I switch the edit on. Here we go. And you can see I'm moving them around. Now the trick to doing it is to obviously straighten out the um, edges of the uh, boxes to make sure they're nice and square and nice and linear across the screen. And then of course you put the two screens on together, control the, how much overlap you want to do. It does that for you anyway, but you can tr control how much overlap you want to see and um, how much the edge blending. Uh, we'll show you that on screen one. I'll just switch off uh, screen two so we can see what's going on here. And the edge blend here is on the right hand side of this screen here in the center. And I can actually inc increase that edge blend. So you can see I'm fading it a little bit more. And I can control the actual gamma, which is the speed at which it fades to black in that crossover. And that's how you basically do it. Uh, we do have control of the output of color for all of the projectors so we can do a bit more color matching just in case the projector colors are not exactly equal which they probably won't be. Once you've done all this you can save all this to a, a preset nice and easily and you've got other other features on here like um, elastic mode which um, allows you to um, edit the uh, um, there's kind of points in more of a curve. Um, if I push this bottom one up which we can see on the thing you can see that there's, mm, there's a kind of a curve to the actual um, uh, marks here and that's that's because we got it in this elastic mode. If I switch the elastic mode off you can see now it's more of a straight line. So we treat um, the uh, kind of like the texture if you like of the video as a, a piece of elastic material which we only have to use a few points to actually get a nice um, edge to it, a nice curve. Obviously this camera is only doing um, standard definition so you, it looks a bit more grainy on the actual video than it does in real life. But I can obviously get this perfect now. Obviously as I told you I can just call that the preset so that saves me a lot of trouble. There's my preset, run a movie, and now we can kind of take a look at this uh, curved um, screen. Plus, very difficult to see the uh, any edge blending in this. Some material is going to show it up, some material is not. Um, you can see this material obviously is not showing it up. So let's try another video. Um, go to a piece of HD um, BBC stuff here. Um, go to some, I don't know, some flowers. Let me stop that there and see. We'll m move through the video a bit and uh, no can't see anything there so it's, it's looking pretty good so this is um, using a, you know a technique to create a nice edge blend um, as I say color matching is going to be tricky with any projectors because they're not all going to be even if they're you know sequential serial numbers they're very tricky to find them so you're going to have to do some color matching and, and adjustment but it, it seems to work very well um, as I say if you, you it does three in one server if you decide you want um, more than three projectors you just put another server on and get another three and then you just tell the uh, second server that it's now blending on its left hand side and so on so you can continue 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 depending on how many um, it does have a capturing system I'm using the internal playback HD media on the, on the panel itself but over to the left here there's a capture unit which will actually capture the input from a camera or an, an input box so if you're playing back blu-ray or something like that you can pump that through your game machine and stuff uh, there's things like frame per second adjustments um, total output adjustments really it's very very straightforward very easy and uh, it makes sense of the whole thing um, so this is what it's for it's for correcting on non-linear surfaces so again this is chris from pixel wix and uh, catch you on the next one